Hello guys and welcome to our highlights from our game against Hungerford Town. The former National League Southside had the first big opportunity coming from Tarpy. Good feet from the winger gave him a good angle at goal. Taking a crack at goal, Tarpy lifted the ball flying high and wide. Minutes after the initial threat, Gosport caused one of their own. In the middle of the box, Stan Woodard managed to pick up the ball from a Cavanaugh cross. A good touch from the striker led to the attackers smashing the ball and fired in the back of the net to make it 1-0 to Gosport. Hungerford retaliated straight after. After a good goal kick, McDonnelly eventually found himself in the right-hand channel. Escaping Vasma, the former Swindon man placed the ball in behind the Gosport defence, leaving Tarpy with an open goal in front of him. Somehow though, the smallest touch from the winger's foot guided the ball wider the post in a near scare for Gosport. If this chance didn't have Gosport fans heart racing, the next chance definitely did. Elias Fernandez, 20 yards out from goal, fired a shot at goal. Ricocheting off the crossbar onto the floor and flirting with a goal until Vasma eventually cleared it off the line in the nick of time. Despite the good chances from Hungerford, it would be the home team to get the next goal. Halfway through, yet again played another great ball into goal scorer Dan Wooden. In true striker fashion, Wooden calmly kept the ball under control and fired the ball past Clark to make it 2-0 to Gosport. Similar to the previous goal, Rue placed a similar style cross into the much more crowded box. Parser did well to get the ball and a good turn saw the defender through on goal. Parser slashed through shot across goal but a good save from Clark denied the goal and half time was Gosport 2, Hungerford 0. Hungerford seemed desperate to start a comeback, leading the way Elias Fernandez. Good footwork from the striker saw a 1-2 between him and McDonough Lee. Elias Fernandez did get a shot across but dragged it just wide. Hungerford's next opportunity actually resulted with the ball hitting the back of the net. McDonough Lee using his physicality to get into the box saw the striker swap the ball with Tarpy. While attracting Gosport players this created enough space for the winger to smash the ball in the back of the net but standing in an offside position saw the goal ruled out. Goal number 3 came from man of the match Harvey Roo. Stood next to the flagpole the midfielder tried to play in a cross but enough curl on the ball caught the goalkeeper off guard and found the bottom corner to make it 3-0 in a spectacular goal. The goal which finished off the contest came from an iconic Kavanaugh cross. The area ball found fellow defender Corey Jordan with the defender smashing the ball past Clark to make it 4-0 and getting his first goal for the club. Despite being out of the contest, Hungerford still tried to ruin the party by trying to eliminate the clean sheet. Substitute Spazov got on the end of a Hungerford cross and actually got ahead to the ball. Directing the ball towards goal, the ball hit the ground, rebounding off of it and going just over the crossbar. Ultimately though, Hungerford could not break the deadlock and the game finished 4-0. A real statement made by Gosport which continues our unbeaten run in the league. The game was also watched by a crowd of 854 people which is our highest attendance. Next week we play Cribs in the FA Cup but final words, up the borough.